this is Jeff with some more Castle Museum Archaeology. We're back out here at the Titabawasi Boom Company boarding house site and I thought I'd show you what we've been up to. So we finished up excavation in the original excavation block where we started working this year. In fact we've already started backfilling it. Um, but you can see in the wall there's the um, layer of ceramics and other historic material that we sampled and you can see there's some bones sticking out and a lot of a lot of ceramics and other materials as well one of the things we did different this year than we did in previous years was we took a series of flotation samples so those are whole sediment samples um, out of this corner of the unit every five centimeters we took a 10 liter sample from about this depth right above the artifact concentration all the way down to just about to the floor level here and so this is going to give us a sample of the really small um, tiny artifacts any fragile seeds and materials like that as well that aren't really amenable to uh, collecting during our normal screening process so um, those samples have all been collected they haven't been processed yet we're probably going to do that tomorrow and we'll likely do another post to um, show you how that process works so we've wrapped up our work in the original excavation block over here but we've also made a lot of progress on the new area we opened up so let's go take a look at that So this is the excavation block we opened up for the first time this year and you can see we've already made quite a bit of progress. Let me try to step down in here and I'll show you one of the really interesting artifacts that we're just starting to uncover. So the uh, artifact density over here is not nearly as high as the other location but we are finding a lot of uh, interesting things. You can see uh, Joseph's over here, he's got some bone and ceramics coming through over here in this excavation unit there's some large brick fragments and some, some big tree roots also here we can see some more brick and bone more ceramics you can also see there's a lot of ash and charcoal in the soil over here um, but here's one of the interesting artifacts we just started uncovering today you can see there's a bone and some glass but there's also the sole of a shoe or boot and this is unlike all the other um, shoe fragments or boot fragments we found out here um, that were comprised of leather soles this is a vulcanized rubber sole and these just started coming into use during the late 19th century so this is probably uh, one of the first uh, pairs of footwear anyway that um, utilize that vulcanized rubber um, in this area. We've done quite a bit this summer but there's still much more to do so until next time take care everyone.